Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends, this is Gunjan here. Welcome to my 40th episode of Chess Trap series. Today I am going to show you a very interesting line and in fact a high profile trap in the Karakhan exchange variation from the white perspective. The great thing about this trap is chess legend and former world champion Vishwanath Anand has once fallen into this trap. So if you prepare well, then you can definitely use this line in the tournament practice. The opening arises after the following model. e4, c6, d4, d5 and now white exchange in the center with e captures d5 and c captures d5. Okay, the main line start with bishop to d3. So very important point stopping black light square bishop development and accordingly black continue with knight to c6 not only hitting the d4 pawn but if allowed then knight to b4 is the obvious choice. Well white needs to stop it and accordingly c3 is the best reply. Finally we have reached to the critical junction where black has two major choices. Number one knight to f6 and number two queen to c7. In this episode we are going to concentrate on one of the trendy moves by black namely queen to c7. So idea is very obvious black wants to stop white's dark square bishop development. Here white has many choices but I am going to propose this very crafty move knight g to e2. So as you can see now bishop to f4 is definitely on the card and that's why the main line continue with bishop to g4. So black's idea is very obvious. He wants to take this bishop out before he close down the pawn chain. Kindly note that moves such as f3 doesn't create any problem for the black camp as generally black respond this move with bishop to d7 and then follow up with quick e5 which in fact give great position to the black camp. So white needs to castle first and after the obvious response e6 which liberate the dark square bishop. Here comes the very cunning and tricky move queen to e1 which sets up the basic platform for our upcoming trap. So let's see what is wrong when black try to develop the kingside piece and the obvious response is bishop to d6 which is attacking on the weak h2 pawn. Well if you have seen this position first time you might think white has to play either the move h3 and save his h2 pawn right? Well guess what? Nope. Now the big idea reveals as white will indeed continue with the move f3. Black has to move the bishop and unfortunately it has the only square bishop to h5. However, first thing first, you may ask, well, why can't black just snap up the pawn first with bishop captures h2 check, right? You are winning a pawn and now I can move the bishop. In fact, yes, he can except he is going to lose a piece. How? Let's check out. First option bishop to f5 is a pretty bad one as after bishop captures f5, pawn captures f5 and now very simple move. Knight to g3 a discover check to the black king and in the next turn we are going to grab this loose bishop. So that variation is completely out of the equation. You might think, okay, if that's not possible, then how about bishop to h5? Saving everything, right? Nope, just one move and black can resign. And I hope you did see it, right? Queen to h5. <laughs> and one of the bishop is a goner.
So it is pretty clear that if black continue with bishop captures h2, then opening disaster is just waiting in the corner. So accordingly in the game, Vishyanan continue with bishop to h5, not falling for this bishop captures h2 trick. However, just one move, queen to h4 and black is completely paralyzed. The most surprising part about this trap is, when I check the database, there are more than 16 IEMs and GMs has fallen into this trap. So you can see the potential of this slide. Now the important point you need to know over here that when black played the move bishop to g6, he get instantly bad position after the following sequence. Bishop captures g6 and as the h pawn is pinned, black has to take with the f pawn. And suddenly you can see that not only black has fractured his pawn structure, but this weak e6 backward pawn is a clear target. And once white can manage some heavy pieces on the e-file, then e6 pawn is doomed to the death. So I think here white get huge positional advantage. Obviously, Vishyanan saw this coming, so he played the other choice, namely knight to f6 which is defending on h5 and trying to avoid this positional trap and indeed his opponent doesn't respond properly and he continue with knight to f4 which after few complications black indeed managed to draw the game however here white has a winning shot and before i move on i like you to pause this video and find out what is the killer move which white missed in this game? Did you spot it? Let's see. The star move is bishop to g5. And after this, no matter how ever black wriggles, he cannot save the loss of material. We have a double threat, bishop captures f6 and then queen captures h5. So accordingly, black has the only response, namely bishop to g6. But now the task is very easy. Bishop captures g6, f captures g6, bishop captures f6 and after g captures f6, white should go ahead and grab this pawn which gives him a clear cut pawn advantage in the opening and not only that but because white is currently attacking two spot black response is almost forced he has to play king to d7 and after that indeed white can play the move queen to h4 and because of the black shaky king an extra pawn advantage with some careful play you can definitely convert this into the full point Last but not least, there is a small trap exist if black foolishly continue here with bishop captures h2, which looks again very natural, but after king to h1, again there is a double attack on the table and the only move to save both the threat is king to d7. However, this is the worst version as after just one move, f4 and that poor bishop is once again hunted down in the corner. That's it guys. I hope you enjoy and learn this wonderful high profile trap in the exchange Karakan. Remember, when your opponent responds with popular choice such as bishop to d6, then give him this root shock with f3 and it doesn't matter however black plays in this position, the quick victory is awaiting for you over the board. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment and I will meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.